Hey everyone, it's Karen Basket, DIYer here. I have some super exciting um, news to share with you and it involves the kitchen, as you can see here. Um, if you follow me, if you're a subscriber and follow and get notifications, um, you're going to know that this kitchen has been in the works for two and a half years. And it's not because we've been lazy or whatnot, it's just because I like to do things when the money's in the budget. And guess what? The money was in the budget for these changes, updates, and finishes that we've made. And I just want to um, take the time to show you what all we've done and let you see my kitchen complete. So stay tuned, follow along, and I will show you all the budget-friendly changes that we've made. Like I just mentioned earlier, if you've watched my Modern Farmhouse Home Tour, you will know all about my kitchen. Um, the busted tiles that happened whenever we removed the previous countertops. Um, I just sort of, you know, improvised by using Grout Renew and um, just making do until the time was right. This is not a super expensive project, but we are big time budgeters, and if it's not in the budget, it has to wait. So now's the time. We went to Lowe's and kind of weighed our options, and I really had my heart set on this damask looking black and white background, but we decided to go with something a little more timeless, which was this three by six um, subway tile. We came home and just started removing the old backsplash, just trying to be as careful as possible not to super damage the sheetrock. Um, it's really impossible because this has been on there for so stinking long. I mean, it's original to the house. Um, we were really careful, covered our butcher block, you know, being careful not to damage it. And as you can see here, we're using um, a putty knife and just hammering it gently and popping the tiles off the wall and there's the one we were looking for. Next we just moved right into applying the tiles to the wall with mastic and used spacers because the tiles we bought did not have the little pre-spacers on each one. Um, it looks so great already and I'm super excited. Uh, next was the grouting process. We used charcoal by Maypie and once we got that all done, we just wiped it down, washed it off. Um, you just follow the instructions basically on the tub of grout. Um, we also had to replace outlets and switches with white ones. Okay, so while I was gone away on a little trip, um, my husband got in here and finished all of the little detail work with the backsplash. Um, you can see he did the uh, silicone caulking there and up underneath and just made it look all so beautiful. So now then I'm home and I get to um, resurface, I guess is what you would say. Not really resurface, but like with wood butcher block, you have to recondition it. That's the word I was looking for. You have to kind of recondition them every few months you're supposed to do it way more often than that but i don't and guess what my countertops still look beautiful but since we have them all cleaned off from working on the backsplash i'm going to go ahead and do that so i'm just going to be using mineral oil and this is literally just like mineral oil that you buy in the pharmacy at walmart or you can use howard's butcher bot conditioner and I'm also gonna be using a super fine grit sandpaper. Okay, and so you can see here that I've got some marks on my wood countertops, and there might be a few scratches from like um, moving items around, maybe some little water marks. So I've already done some of this over here, but I'm just gonna show you. So I just start with this sandpaper. Um, this is just a thousand grit wet dry and I just lightly sand in the same direction that the wood goes. Um, you just sand back and forth, just because you wanna create a super smooth finish. And when you get to those areas, like this right here, you just work on them. And basically you're just buffing out the marks. 
Okay, now that I've got it sanded, this is so, so super smooth now. I'm just gonna use a rag and just wipe off any excess dust. So once I get that wiped off, and then I just grab um, some paper towels and my mineral oil. And this stuff is really conditioning for the skin too. So I just use my hands. Um, yeah, just pour it on as much as you want. And then you just rub it in. Um, I'm just letting this kind of puddle. You can see it's pretty thick here. So because I don't do it as often as I should, like I mentioned, I am just gonna leave this here for a while, maybe like 20, 30 minutes, and just let it soak in. Um, you also wanna be sure to get up under the edges really well and the front, the edges of your sink, up under here, the edges. And this is also a good time to to re-silicone your sink. So I'm gonna clean my sink really well. Just take the time to just like redo everything in this process. I mean, you might as well. Oh my goodness. I just noticed something else I have to do to complete this kitchen. I forgot, I'm supposed to be finally, two and a half years later, painting this wood ledge and the inside of my window. I forgot my husband prepped all that for me to do. So now that I get to do that too, but you might not see that in this video. I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so you can see that the window is very blank because I've decided, yes, I am gonna go ahead and paint this. I've already prepped the surface by using a deglosser and crud cutter on it. And <laughs> sadly, that's where I had painted to originally, right up there with this tan color but I don't want to use the tan in the window because I don't want it to like reflect and create like a pinkish hue in here. So I'm just going to go with the same white that I used on my cabinets, which I've got to do cabinet touch up because our old tile used to come up to here. So that's all prepped and ready. And I am just going to get started on that and show you it when it's all finished. Okay. So got the Butcher block countertops reconditioned by sanding them like I showed you earlier and then applying the mineral oil. Look how fresh and renewed they looked. It just brightens them up and just makes the wood really pop, the wood grains. New backsplash, everything's done. Um, no more having to hide, you know, my broken tile pieces. I'm so happy about that and I just think this looks really great. And then today I tackled the window. Um, this ledge was wood before. And you know, if you go back and watch my modern farmhouse home tour, you'll get to see like all this before. And then I actually have a cabinet makeover video. So anyways, um, thanks so much for watching. And I really do hope that you enjoyed this and learned a little bit um, about how to maybe do a backsplash. I, don't, I know that we really didn't teach you that. We just showed you what we did. But um, then there's the countertop reconditioning. I'm super pleased with the results. And yeah, I had to patiently wait for quite some time, but it was totally worth it in the end. And here is the true before picture, like the original kitchen to the house from 1993. And of course the after. I truly appreciate you watching and um, just drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, ask away. I'm really great about responding to those comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.